All right, listen up, all you cheaters. If you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you ever need a Lyft or an Uber and you get in my car, be forewarned. If you ever pull this kind of shit that this guy pulled today, you got the same thing coming. Today I picked up a guy. His wife and his kids walked him out to the, to the car, said, I love you, daddy, blah, blah, blah. So he gets in, he says, hi. He goes, I added a stop. I said, I saw that. So we go and we pull up at the stop and this lady comes out and she's got a little bit of luggage, like a handbag and a, a tote, a small tote. She gets in and she's like, I am so glad you finally got away from your damn wife. Hmm. Okay. So then he kisses her and it wasn't a hi, how you doing kind of kiss. And so he goes, I changed our drop off location. I said, I saw that. Uh, I didn't know exactly where it was that they were going at that particular time. I just saw that it had an update. So, um, they continued to talk and this, that, and the other. And she says, you know, I'm tired of you putting me off. When are you going to leave? And he said, you know, I've got some things I've got to take care of. You know, let's talk about this later. Blah, 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 blah. Keep in mind, I was about five miles from his house. So understand something. This is my car. I work for myself. I am an independent contractor. If I choose to end your ride, it's my choice. Uber's not going to fire me. Uber's not going to ban me. Uber's not going to get rid of me. If you are doing something crappy in my car, I have the right to handle it however I see fit. Well, he, things didn't turn out so well for him. I took him back to his house. I drove up and made him and her get out of my car at his home where his wife and his kids were. There was no other way this was going to go on. There is nothing worse than a dog. I don't give a fuck if you're a female or you're a male. Pull some shit like that in my car and you're going to get done like that. Karma's a motherfucker. Be better people. Do better in life. It didn't end well for him today, I'm sure. Because both of them had their baggage and both of them were standing in his front yard when I left. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And I hope you see this, you piece of shit. So who pissed in her Cheerios? I think that that was totally uncalled for. You went above and beyond. But uh, we got a lot to unpack here, guys. But before we do, it's your favorite everything, GR Wisdom. Hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos like this. Let's run it up to 100,000. Quick plan. Now this lady is a Uber Karen, right? Like that's too much um it, this doesn't even sound realistic for one you know for you to be talking your business like that in front of uber driver but hey some people do uh as well and announcing hey i got this stop this stop i got another stop you don't have to say anything the people who know that you don't have to say all that but what i find very disturbing because obviously this woman's been hurt you know she's got the hubbles on top of her head she got the coffee and cigarette mixture teeth and uh, the fact that she got kudos for doing this, for destroying this, this kind man's life and destroying his family's life. It's completely uncalled for. I know, how do you know that uh, he didn't already tell his wife? You know what I'm saying? Even though he, you said that he was saying that he might've already told his wife. And she was just like, when are you gonna leave him? And when, when, are, you, when are you gonna leave her? Or whatever. Bro's like, I got some stuff to handle. You don't know what's going on. And the fact that you took it that far, drove him back to his house and told him to get out, along with the woman, who are you? Are you holier than thou? Did your man leave you for a side piece? Which has gotten you, and I'm not saying anything's wrong with Uber or whatever, but the fact that you're taking your job this seriously, I mean, we 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 expect discretion when we get in when we hire an Uber and, or whatever is going on. You know what I mean? But some Karen, and obviously this is an example of a Karen, couldn't wait to snitch. And the fact that she got, like I said, she was. I think I saw an article about her being congratulated by the city city of Dallas, um, or whatever. But uh, baby. You can't stop You're, this crusade that you might be on or whatever. You can't stop people from doing what they're going to do. But you're like, this is my car. I can kick people out as I see fit. 
you know, it's it's not something that uh, you you with the TikTok is going viral. Man, we just got to stop the bull pucky. Stop it. Stop it. So, I guess, and now that her, her channel's blowing up, now that she's talked about this stuff, cheaters are going to cheat. People are going to stay together. Hey, the fact that you did this, lady, you may you may have made them want to even, uh, you know, try harder to stay together. The wife may have stepped her game up. And decided to do some things now that she knows if she did if she didn't know now that she does know love conquers all and y'all don't like when i say that but it's it's just what it is love conquers all you never know what's gonna happen at the end of the day you're like this isn't this isn't happening in my car Whew. i showed you i made you get out like i hope he got caught i hope this i hope that man stop it we, we got to cut out the bull, man. Where as a society do we just, you know, mind our business? And I think some people have a knack for wanting to put themselves or make themselves important in other people's lives or establish themselves or just to be able just to talk, just to have something to say. You know what I mean? The side chick's not not going anywhere, but you wanted the wife to know? Man, listen, there was a situation I knew a few years ago, right? Somebody made a call to the wife. Dude was cheating. Dude was cheating on his wife. Had a side chick. Somebody made a call to the wife and said, hey, such and such is uh, the side chick. Um... This is what Buddy is doing. Buddy's spending money on her. They're working together. They're doing such, such, such. You know what the wife said? Okay, what do you expect to come out of this? What do you want to happen out of this? You're calling me on my job to say this. What What are you expecting to happen? So, and it was like, excuse me. I was just letting you know. Sometimes, guys, when you try to do this stuff and you think that you're proving a point, or you're trying to be like a, a crusader and say, yeah, this is going to really destroy your world. A lot of times the, the other person couldn't care less and they're going to they gonna get on your ass about it. Like, who the fuck are you? Who are you at the end of the day? You're telling me this information? You know what I'm saying? And you're trying to break something up? Doesn't always work like that. Just some Just some things to consider, guys. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't always work the way you want it to work. And we must be conscious of these things. All right? So being a Karen and snitching and laughing about things and I'm looking in the camera and I'm serious. And if you ever even think about uh, bringing a, your side bitch and, you know, uh, trying to get your fuck on at a hotel, I'm going to make sure that I, you know, report, report it to the authorities immediately. I guess you're going to be interviewing everybody from now on or looking at their ring fingers and things like that. There's, there's a time to mind your business and there's a time to actually, you know, get involved in things. You know, just my thoughts. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this situation. What would you have done if you were the Uber driver? And what would you have done if you were the side chick for you ladies watching? And what would you have done if you were the husband... In, in, in these scenarios, what would you have done? You know what I'm saying? Jerry, <laughs> yeah, what would you have done? Hey, man. I would have kept it funky and got up out of there. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been like, okay. You know, you're still ugly. You know what I'm saying? You're still ugly. You're still dusty. And uh, I'm going to give this ride. Uh, your rating is going to, you know. Your, your rating is going to suffer here. But it is what it is. Comment below. <laughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a session with yours truly. Follow me on Instagram, guys. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. You know, it helps to support the channel. Mental Alchemist t-shirt here as well as other ones. Guys, much blessings and abundance. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Stick around for the next video that's about to pop up on the screen. This is Wisdom. Peace be upon you, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. I'm out.
Peace. It's God's beat maker. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that don't turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto, you them.